Hello everyone. It's Moses from Zathari Gardens. This is Lulu. Today we're going to be talking about a long ago test I did. I'll link it up in the video right now of my papayas. I grew papayas. I just bought them from the store. A Hawaiian papaya and a Mexican papaya. And I took the seeds out and planted it in a pot and I just wanted to see how they would do. So I'll link down the video right now. A few of them actually. I did a few videos on them. Now here they are here. Um, I have, and I'm going to go to them in, uh, later in the video, I have more papayas over there on the side of the house. And I have some over here. And I'll show you all of them. So what we have here is Solo and Mexican papaya. We've already been through three nights at 32 degrees. I'm in Central California zone 9B. We've already been three nights at 32 degrees about a month ago or two, three weeks ago. Here's the mangoes. Mangoes are loving it. They're not really minding the cold. But the papaya, especially the Hawaiian, is not liking it at all. Now, I just basically plopped the plants in here. I didn't thin them out because I wanted that canopy to keep it a little warmer, but obviously Hawaiian, much like two years ago when I planted papayas, and I bought, instead of planting seeds, I bought, um, you know, $15, three Hawaiian papaya plants, solo papayas. They didn't like it either, so definitely does not like this location. But Mexican, I mean, if it doesn't make it, it's fine. It's still an experiment. But let me show you right now what the other ones, there's Mexican over there. So you might think, oh, it may have survived because of the fence. It keeps it a little bit warmer. But let me show you over here right now. Really quick, the Vernon and the Subel Sapote, White Sapote, they're doing really well. They're still doing really well. They didn't need, since planting, they never needed any help during the winter. But here are these little seedlings that are just in the middle of nowhere, if you think about it, compared to a nice warm wooden fence. And these Mexican papayas are doing well, you know, I mean, good as they can. This is, again, just another experiment. But they're doing pretty well. You know, they've had frost on them, literal frost on the leaves. And they're doing just fine, you know, considering. If they don't make it, it's okay. But now let me show you how these Mexican papayas are doing next to the stuccoed house of mine. Right over here, long ago, I planted, two years ago I planted this Mexican papaya with others. I thinned out what was weak and replanted more Mexican papaya seeds. So you can see they're doing just fine. You can see the base of this one is nice and large. This has already produced fruit. I, and it's still flowering or trying to flower right there. I just knocked it off on purpose. So I don't want any more flowers. So really healthy. Remember, the sunset is warming up the house. And during the night, this location never really gets frost. That's why the apples, this um, pink lady is doing just fine. It's not even defoliating at all. And the moringas are doing okay. They're still, you know, not even a year old. And it's trying to flower. Right there. And here. This one's from seed. And this one was grown in a pot and transplanted. Now here's another angle of that Mexican papaya that's two years old. So you can see it doesn't mind it at all. So it, it can survive here. So if you're living in an area that gets below 45 or 40 degrees Fahrenheit, it all depends on the microclimate. Just plant it where it's the warmest at night, not during the day. At night is the problem. Happy gardening, everyone.